Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for being here today and also happy new year, happy 2022. What are your goals? What are your intentions? What are your resolutions? Do you have any? I'd love to know because I love, uh, I love a fresh start, you know what I mean? We're starting 2022 off with a very, very exciting video and that is a book shopping vlog at Powell's in Portland, Oregon. I got to Portland yesterday and I'm here for a tattoo appointment in a couple days uh, by one of my favorite artists. He's done two of my pieces and so I'm gonna get a third from him in a couple days and I'm really excited. But I actually flew in early so I could meet one of my internet friends in real life um, and she's become one of my dearest and best friends over the last couple months. Her name is Jess and I met her online and she has a beautiful, wonderful bookstagram. So I'll make sure to link her down below. Um, but yeah, I just, I think she's wonderful. And so I met her yesterday and then today we're going book shopping at Powell's. So we're gonna do some book shopping for ourselves and then we're gonna separate in the store and go find books for each other as like a little Christmas gift swap. I'm so excited. I have to start walking over in 10 minutes. So I'm gonna give you a quick little hotel room tour because I love seeing hotel room tours or like Airbnb tours. So I'm gonna give you a little tour of the space and then I'll walk over and then the book shopping will begin. So yes, I will also say <laughs> in my recent unhaul, I was like, I just, I'm reading a lot on my Kindle, which is true, but I'm specifically today going to be looking for a lot of the books that I need to read for my final exam for my master's degree. Um, basically I have to read 50 books and then I have to get examined on those 50 books and I have to like be very intentional and I have to know like, you know, some, I've heard that sometimes they put like passages up on, like up on a screen and you have to identify which author and text that passage is from and they do not make them easy. <laughs> so um, I wanted the physical copies of a lot of the books that I have to read and yeah. So I'm going to be looking for some school texts and if I end up finding any others, then that's great. So <laughs> I'm gonna give you a tour and then I'm gonna walk over and then I'm gonna vlog and we're gonna shop. That's gonna be fun. Here we go. Okay, so here's the front door and then we have a bed that I slept in so it's not perfectly made. <laughs> but isn't this a cute little nook? I felt so safe and like comforted sleeping there last night. Love it. This cute little window with this nice little windowsill. Like, oh, actually, let's look at the view, friends. I mean, it's not the best view you'd ever think to see, but it's something, all right. Right? Exactly. Okay, so from the window, we have the world's largest TV for a hotel room. I'm actually like shocked by how big this <laughs> TV is. Then we have this little like bar nook thing, this chair that they have set up right in front of the closet, which is a little interesting to me. Um, and then the bathroom, which is very cute and uh, like modern and fun. Also, let me show you my new favorite perfume. I'm not gonna say it because I'm gonna botch it, but it's this and it smells like vanilla and it's like a little musky, like a little cologne instead of perfumey, but it's amazing and I love it. I love it. Every time I put it on, people have complimented it, so love it. Anyway, that's the hotel room. I love it and it's my new home for the next few days.
we're back from Powell's and we got some books. Now, <laughs> now before I left here, I filmed the clip that was like, I'm just gonna get school books. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm gonna get. Not a single <laughs> school book. Not a <laughs> single say, school book. I didn't see you reaching for any school. When we first got there, Jess pointed out this really cool tea towel. Mm -hmm. Kitchen towel. Yeah. And so I got the tote version of it, you Beautiful. know, to lug on the plane. It reminds me of SpongeBob. So. Oh, I see that. And this green strap. Right? I just love it. So we went and we got ourselves books and then we also got each other books. And so we're going, what should we do first? Should we show, show the them books? Show them the books you got for yourself. Okay. Cause that's, okay. I'm excited for everybody to see. Okay. And I don't know all of them, do I? That you got for yourself? I don't think so. I think I snuck a few in okay. first. Um, okay, almost just grabbed one of yours. <laughs> okay. Oh, first, Jess oh. just gave me these because she knew that I was interested in them. Um, we have Migrations and we have Once There Were Wolves, both by the same author. And you said you can't choose. No, I can't choose a favorite. Yeah. They're no. just both. I'm sorry. Excellent. <laughs> excellent in different ways, though. Yes, and the audio for Migrations is excellent. Loved and it. Look at how good that is, right? Yes. Love it. Annotations. She matched her post-its to the cover, which we love intention. One of the books that I got myself that I found on the shelf was this book called August because me and my fiance are watching Yellowstone and we're loving it. Yes. And this one is about a, he's an average 12 year old. He likes dogs and fishing and doesn't mind early morning chores on his family's Michigan dairy farm. But then something happens that makes his family move away to a rural, no, a ranch in rural Montana where he learns that even the smallest communities have dark secrets. So if you've seen anything about Yellowstone, you'd know. Mm -hmm. The ranch is not just a ranch, mm -hmm. okay? Lots of murder and lots of sinister elements. So I thought it sounded good and I love yellow. And so. I've never heard of that book. I've never heard of it. Mm -hmm. Would you like to share one that you picked oh, up? Oh, sure. A little okay. switchy. Why did I put a mint in my mouth before it's really? <laughs> when you were, I was like, is she chewing gum? <laughs> Just let me, it's easy. <laughs> okay, what's the first book okay, you got? Okay, first book is Mothers by Chris Powers. It's a book of short stories. I don't really know. <laughs> it's a debut collection and I don't know. I think it was mostly just the cover that drew me in yes. and the fact that it's a book of short stories, which you and I both want to read more of. Yes. So. I love that cover so much. Love so. it. So sorry, I don't know much about it, but. <laughs> it's a short story collection, which I, I think is hard to like get in a synopsis anyway. So. Very true. Um, next is a signed copy. Oh yes. I was like, I've seen this cover a few times mm -hmm. and then I saw it like three times when we were in there and I was like, it's a hardback. I don't want to travel with a bunch of hardbacks. You kept reaching for it though. And it's autographed. Okay. <laughs> and it is Beasts of a Little Land. Come on now. It is signed. Let's look. Beautiful. Um, an epic story of love, war, and redemption set against the backdrop of the Korean independence movement. Wow. The, the cover, the story, because I actually read the full synopsis and I was like, oh, this is coming out, <laughs> okay? And it's autographed. If, if I didn't, just so you know, it's autographed. And I own very few autographed books. If any, I don't, do I? Anyway, very excited, love the cover. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to read it. Beautiful. Love it. Turn. My turn, okay. Another one about for myself. Let's see. Okay, uh, The Third Hotel by Laura Ooh. Vandenberg. Again, don't know a ton about it, um, but I've seen this all over the internet, booktube, and I've heard phenomenal things about the author. And so, I don't know, it was on sale. Is it a collection? Is it a story collection? Um, I think, no. no. A novel. Mm -hmm. And let's see. This is no Hitchcockian tale of a double life, but an insightful portrait of grief's power to create a dislocation of reality. Oh my God, sounds way too smart for me. That was a lot of words, so it's like a poem in a sentence. That's amazing. But again, another kind of cover by, and also I've just heard phenomenal things about this author and- It looks great. Yeah, there you go. And if I was smart enough to ingest, I'd probably <laughs> read it as well. Um, 
Okay, this is the last book I bought myself, and that is The Reprieve. Um, I picked it up, I hadn't really heard about it. I saw the cover and I was like, have you heard about it? And what have you heard? I've heard great things. things. Yeah, great things. And Kayla loved Kayla it. Kayla loved it, yes. So I, once she said that, I was like, it's coming home. And I had just read the synopsis. It says, a chilling and blistering relevant literary novel of social horror centered around a brutal killing that takes place in a full contact haunted escape room, a provocative exploration of capitalism, hate politics, racial fetishism, and our, obsess our obsession with fear as entertainment. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. It sounds so good. And I, I just can't wait for you to read that. Like it's like a painting, mm -hmm. right? I like how I said, <laughs> What? I picked up one and I was like, oh, I don't want a bunch of hardcovers to bring home. <laughs> and all of them are hardcovers. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Oh, okay. This is my one paperback. Oh, there you go. There you go. You know what? Great. Um, okay, so I want to read Ann Patchett. So I got this cute... Like a pocket version. Yeah, The Dutch House. And again, I think you've seen this one everywhere, right? Everywhere. Yeah, excellent things heard about that one. It's such a beautiful, like this like watercolored birds on the back. Love it. Love it. Um, I've heard great things about Marlena, Julie Bunton, um, and what was it? Jenny Slate. Okay. Loves this book. Oh, okay. So I was intrigued and it was on sale. Rachel Cusk. Oh my essays. God. I own, um, a lot of her other books that have this kind of style, right? Amazing. And so I wanted to kind of add to my collection and was on sale, so amazing. picked that up. Such a good cover. And um, Who Will Run the Frog Hospital, which is- <laughs> I, <laughs> love the co I love the title so A much. novel by Lori Moore. Um, I've seen this one on Bookstagram recently, and I read a book of short stories by her um, called Self Help, and they were really good, but I've heard nothing but great things about this one. And it was on sale. And such a good title. Right? <laughs> the Frog Hospital. Okay, and then the other one I bought for myself, I also bought for you, so. Okay. <laughs> We're buddy reading, okay? Yeah. Um, you wanna go first? I'll go first. Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay. The first one, I knew she wanted this one, so I hope to God she did not buy it, because I don't know what she bought. I know you didn't buy it, because you didn't just put it in the stack, so. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> we were talking about, I put this in my best books of 2021, mm -hmm. and then Jess said she was intrigued. Yeah, and we read Ariadne together. Yes! I and, forgot! Great. And then we both loved The Song of Achilles. Yes! And I still need to read Circe. Yes! Okay, for you, do you want the one that I bought for both of us? Yes! Okay, okay. So, I'm so excited. You want to read more collections of short stories? Yes! Oh my god! This is cute! <laughs> we have matching So it's books. the same author as... Oh my god! Also, what a name. Right? Laura Van Denberg. Um, so, uh, CJ from CJ Reads, she's on book two. Mm -hmm. She did um, some Instagram stories asking people to ask for recommendations and she would like or give her prompts and she would give a recommendation. And so yes. I knew you were coming and we were going to do this. Yes. And so I said, um, for fans of Carmen Maria Machado, Machado. Yes. Um, and she recommended this one. Oh my God, that was so thoughtful of you to submit. So I think there's like a horror element, I wanna say. Oh my, yes. Um, Both timeless and urgent, these 11 stories confront misogyny, violence, and the impossible economics of America with Vandenberg's Trademark spiky humor and surreal eye. Holy shit. <laughs> I love this and I love matching books. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Isn't that cover so intriguing? I love that you asked that too, like fans of. Yeah, because I know you love her. I love her. Yeah. So this is amazing. I love it. And I can't wait to read it with you. And then we can choose a favorite story from this list. Yes. If you've read it, let us know your favorite story. You know I love a short story collection. I went into this book shopping with the intention of getting you a thousand chips. Oh, the other okay. two were just fine. Okay. So I don't know much about this book, okay. but I looked up reviews. Sounds excellent. And that is Feast Your Eyes. Oh my gosh. The cover, I was immediately intrigued. Yeah. But it says, 
The first novel in nearly a decade from Myla Goldberg's Feast Your Eyes is a compelling and wholly original story about a female photographer grappling with ambition and motherhood, a balancing act familiar to women of every generation. But I was thinking, you love museums, there's a bit of photography, so... Art, no. motherhood, New York City. Yes! That's like all the things I love in books. And I've so. never heard of this. And that cover is beautiful. Yes. I beautiful. love it. I hope it's good. Oh, I'm sure it's going to be good. It <laughs> sounds like all the things. That, just checking off all the boxes. Yes! Okay. So your favorite book of the year was Know My Name by yes. Chanel Miller, which loved. Yes. Um, so I wanted to get you another memoir. Oh my god, I love that. <laughs> and I own this memoir. Okay. Um, so another, I don't know if we want anybody to read this one because it sounds pretty devastating, but it's I Am, I Am, I Am oh by my Maggie O'Farrell. Have you heard of this? I've seen it and I've heard of it. Okay, but... so she wrote Hamnet. Remember yes! we both said we wanted to read it? Yes! Okay, so this is her memoir and it says, on 17 occasions, Maggie O'Farrell has start, or stared death in the face and lived to tell the tale. <gasps> Oh my god. So it's probably going to be pretty devastating. Okay. I love it. Thank you. And how thoughtful, because I loved that memoir, and I think I may have said this in the video, or maybe I thought about it beforehand, but I was like, no, my name was my favorite book of the year, and yet I didn't read like any other memoirs. Oh, okay. So, so this is thing. awesome. Beautiful. Love the cover. Yay. Love you. Love you. Okay. Our last book is another just random find. Love it. But it is stunning. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I wonder if you've seen it before. It's <gasps> still alive and it's so beautiful. Stop it. I just read Tin Man. What? Like a month or two ago and I loved it. Yes. And this is like one of my most anticipated reads and I do not own it. Stop. <laughs> I had, I, so I knew you read Tin Man, but I okay. didn't even recognize that this was the same author. Yeah. Right until you pointed to it right now. So this, I saw it and I thought, that's just beautiful. Like, just take a look. And then, so it says Tuscany 1944 as allied troops advance and bombs fall around deserted villages, a young English soldier, soldier Ulysses Temper finds himself in the wine cellar of an abandoned villa. And so there's, it was also marked as, as historical fiction. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, know I love it. I know you love historical <laughs> fiction. So. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, this is one of my most anticipated reads. I love it. And I do not own it. And I fell in, the reason I fell in love with Tin Man, the story was wonderful, mm -hmm. but her writing is breathtaking. Okay. So this is so sweet. Thank oh my you God. So much. It's, okay. I love this video. <laughs> oh my God. I just, Thought about it. <laughs> the last book I got for you, I also own in heaven. <laughs> we have, yes, you are setting us up for money reads. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, that's I can't funny. wait. Another short story collection. Yes. So I'm sorry I didn't get you like a fiction. But oh, no. So A Manual for Cleaning Women by Lucia Berlin. Yes. Um, short stories. And this has such a high rating on yes. Goodreads. Like fantastic. So let's see. Berlin crafts miracles from the everyday, uncovering moments of grace in the laundromats and halfway houses of the American Southwest, in the homes of the Bay Area upper class, among switchboard operators and struggling mothers, hitchhikers, and bad Christians. Wow. Readers will revel in this remarkable collection from a master of the form and wonder how they'd over, ever overlooked her in the first place. This is crazy because I saw it twice while we were at the store mm -hmm. and I thought that that covers always captured me because of this like peachy color. Mm -hmm. And then I just love that it's like one of these plastic keys because I have a couple of the like, oh. like TV show ones, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so I kept seeing it. I didn't realize it was a story collection until we were at the short story wall. Oh, and it was up there? Yeah. And okay. I was like, Noelle, you should, you know, you like short story collections and this is amazing that you picked it up. And it's, the one I have is a hardcover, but this just feels... It feels sturdy. It feels alive. And you wanted more paperback. I need to break the spine. Yep. Oh my God. I just, I fell Maybe in the, love with short stories. It's going to be the year of short stories for you, I feel like. And memoirs. It absolutely right? is. I love these. I, this is such we a good... We did so good. It's so good. And none of, we don't own any of them already. We haven't read them. I mean, we know each other so well. I think we would. Oh my God. Yeah. And now I'm so excited for these buddy reads. Her and I have read 
<laughs> so many books. Let's which ones, though. <laughs> so many books. Um, and some pretty awful romances, but it's always been such a blast, so I'm so excited so to fun. read these. Let's hold up our stacks. Oh, yeah. And show everyone. Okay. I have to put these in a suitcase. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Oh, oh so cute. All right, well, that is our book shopping vlog haul. From Powell's. It was so fun. It was so fun. I'm sure we'll find another reason to go at some point. Absolutely. And this is just amazing. So thanks everyone for tuning into this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you had fun and I will see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>